we have a new term rolled out by the White House and uh, dutifully repeated by the mainstream media called cheap fake. I'm going to do my best Jay Leno. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Um, cheap fake is not a new terminology, according to PolitiFact, which is a project of the Pointer Institute. Remember the Pointer Institute, folks. I have something coming on them. Yes. It's, it's coming, I swear. <laughs> Misinformation researchers first the cur- uh, coined the term cheap fake in 2019, as deep fake videos made with artificial intelligence grew more popular. Cheap fakes are real videos... So they're not fakes, they're real videos, according to PolitiFact, yes. that have been manually edited with low-cost, easy-to-use, easy-to-access tools, or taken out of context. These are, if you go on in the political article, things like cropping, mm-hmm. zooming, <laughs> cheap cutting. Fakes. These are cheap fakes. And I love that they use the word they in their definition. Cheap fakes are real videos, period. <laughs> you know, like they don't have the period there, but you get the point. But uh, just, period but, added for emphasis. This, this is this is another thing as well, and this is something that we've discussed like personally in the past. Is that like it, 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 I can totally see, and this kind of ties in with with what we've just been discussing about the Atlantic Council calling for calling for us to go to jail. Um, is that like it, it, throughout like the war on terror? When the FBI like fitted people up and like, like and MI five like fitted people up as terrorists and yeah. got them prosecuted, they would bring in these like government funded quote unquote terrorism experts to testify about what wasn't what was and wasn't terrorism. Like these people who've like never been to the Middle East, don't speak Arabic, uh, and yet are experts on right. um, quote unquote Middle East and terrorism. Um, like I can totally see like disinfo experts being being trotted out in like these kind of prosecutions. Yeah, and it's like oh, it, and yeah. it's like if, you know, if they like, haven't been already, I'm yeah. sure they have. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. But, but it's just like it, it just inter- but it, it just to, like it. It's just really quite amazing to me that like, I don't think anyone listening to this live stream is like under any illusions about the push for disinformation, the, the dis- counter sure. disinformation push being about spooks wanting to control the narrative and silence dissenting voices and suppressing convenient facts indeed there is a i will never get bored of of repeating this but there is a uh, some leaked documents related to a british um anti-fake news drive um in, in central and eastern europe which it's called open information partnership bellingcat were all over it of course um and they uh, there is an excerpt in one of the files that says one of the, the 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 biggest problems about combating disinformation is that Kremlin um, uh, disinformation is often factually true, yeah, um, and therefore responding to uh, inconvenient truths is problematic. And it's like, yeah, that they've literally created a, a scenario, where, and an alarming number of people actually like like take these people seriously, where anything they say anything is disinformation it's almost like me designating this disinformation means this is right because i'm an expert and there was this there has been a a kind of alarming lack of like critical scrutiny that's been applied to this and that there was an academic there's a 2018 academic paper and i don't think the findings need to be updated in any meaningful way which stated that like they couldn't find a single um common definition of disinformation in in any two academic papers on the subject so like they can't actually define what it is and isn't and and which is like absolutely incredible but like it's again it's like it's like unsurprising so (laughs) these cheap fakes yes uh basically a product of the white house working with the disinformation industry and the mainstream media uh may have been making appearances all over the news here we have a screen capture cheap fakes white house says it is a victim of a sim- simpler version of deep fakes so cheap fakes are just a simpler version of deep fakes minus the ai and minus the fake part um yes and then we have i have i i, I pulled this up earlier um the use of the term cheap fakes over the past 12 months and you can see it's just a straight line up. There was no mention. So they've very easily been able to um, roll this into yeah. the public discourse. Yeah. And, you know, I think it's very um, obvious that they're using this term mm. to confuse people, to make them think that, one, it's fake when it's not. Yeah. And two, uh, to 
conflate cheap fake with deep fake because deep fake sounds very ominous and it is quite ominous it's a digitally fake. digitally it's it, it's a deep fake is an ai creation makes somebody look like they're saying something that they didn't this is very yeah insidious. very very different cheap yeah. fake is just like i cut the video three seconds shorter than it actually ended you know <laughs> so but yeah i mean it's just like, i mean that been again that kind of feeds into um well, you know, the DHS Disinformation Governance Board, um, like they, uh, which is rather forgotten about now, but was hilarious. Um, I, I mean, they specifically like stated that, yeah. it, I mean, this is thanks to, uh, yes, um, Miss Gary Poppins, um, Nina Jankovic, yeah. um, Nina Wankowitz, like, <laughs> as I like to refer to her. But like she, like the, the, they, um, uh they uh yeah like they explicitly stated that that they would they would they considered real information th like that that was presented the wrong way yeah right as disinformation yeah. <laughs> so i, I want to play this video of yeah, uh, the white house spokeswoman jean uh corinne jean pierre jean um because even she mixes up deep fakes and well, it's deliberate fakes. of course it's deliberate like i mean so we're just, I'm, I'm, I want to play it to illustrate. Secondly, there, there seems to be a, a sort of rash of videos that have been edited to make the president appear officially frail or mentally confused. Um, I, I'm wondering if the, the White House is especially worried about the fact that this, this appears to be a, a, a pattern that we're seeing more of. Yeah, we, and I think you all have called this the cheap fakes video, and that's exactly what they are. They are cheap fakes video. Uh, they are done in bad faith. Uh, and, uh, and some of your news organization uh, have, uh, have been very clear, have stressed that these right wing, uh, the right wing critics of the president have a credibility problem uh, because of the fact checkers have repeatedly caught them pushing misinformation, disinformation. Uh, and so we see this, and this is something coming from, from your, your part of the world, calling them cheap fakes and misinformation. Uh, and uh, I'll quote the Washington Post, where they wrote, uh, they wrote about this, and they said, how Republicans use misleading videos to attack Biden in a 24-hour period. And to their credit, we have a conservative Washington examiner uh, did call them out as well, calling out the New York Post. Uh, ironically, several, several recent cheap fakes actually attacked the president for thanking troops for thanking troops, that is what they're attacking the president for. Both in Normandy, this happened, and again in Italy. And uh, I think that it tells you everything that we need to know about how, um, how desperate, how desperate Republicans are here. Uh, and uh, instead of talking about the president's performance in office, and what I mean by that is his legislative wins, what he's been able to do for the American people across the country, we're seeing these deep fakes. Uh, these manipulated videos. So, as you guys can hear there, she's calling them deep fakes by accident. They want you to call them deep fakes by accident yeah. over dinner with your family. Yes. Um, and all of this to explain away the very obvious signs of Biden's cognitive decline. Yes, indeed. Hey, everyone. Um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.